Hey guys, I am sitting right down here by the river, just enjoying the sounds. It's a beautiful place, secluded, long ways away from people. There's the Capitan Mountains, nobody around. So I'm often asked in my comments of my videos, what does it mean to be a park host? What's, what do you do as a park host? So I want to talk about that today. We're going to talk about the duties of a park host. <music> Before I retired probably about 10 years um, I had a travel trailer well all my life I've had campers but um, I really started watching the park host at different parks I would go to and think now that is an awesome thing to do when you retire so for the last probably 10 years I have wanted to do that I have actually worked towards that goal for the last 10 years um, and I would see one of the park hosts that I would see all the time would be at the Davis Mountains in Texas and one of them there they actually feed the or fill up the bird feeders and go around make sure there's water in the in the bird bird baths and things like that and I thought that is an awesome job that is something that um, I wanted to do so uh, I started looking into it and and I would say these park hosts driving around in their ATVs with their vest or their Texas State Park shirts on or whatever and I was like that is that's got to be a, a neat thing to do when you retire number one you're camping all the time and there was no wind when I started this and here we go they were camping all the time and they spent a few hours doing a few duties at the park and um, basically it's a volunteer job I would talk to the park coast and ask them you know the same things what does the park coast do do you like it would you return and everyone I ever talked to said yes they would always return and have been doing it for years so it couldn't be a bad thing so I was set. I was going to do it. There is a difference in work camping and park hosting. Some may be called a park host, a camp host, um, work camping, but a work camper normally gets paid for duties and a park host does not get paid. It is solely volunteering to do the duties that are listed on the uh, job description basically so you're to look at the job description and everything that it entails and if you want to and can perform those duties then you can apply for that job so most work campers have a certain or a set schedule or I guess it could it could vary but they have a number of hours that they must work for a payment you know they get paid an hourly wage and the park host position may require a certain number of hours to become a park host there um, I worked in at a park host job in Texas and it was a minimum of 26 hours I think so what do you get if you volunteer as a park host most of the time and each each requirement or each um, job is different but most of the time you get your RV spot water electric and sewer for, for free but in return you are working a set amount of hours so you agree to work those hours in return you receive a RV spot water electric and sewer each park host duties are different and they're listed in the requirements so be sure you read those but most of them or a lot of them require cleaning cleaning of bathrooms um, picking up litter uh, 
pets, killing bird feeders, mowing, weed eating, uh, painting. Some of the duties that I have done is I've painted cabins, I've painted fences, I've helped repair or build a fence, um, finish a fence. Uh, trail maintenance, I've done trail maintenance. Running campsites, that's just verifying who's in a campsite, how many people, uh, if they have the correct permit or not. Um, just customer service, record keeping, um, who's visited the park, how many people's come in, how many people's use the dump station, uh, fold and provide maps in the different areas. Office work, I've worked in the office answering phone, greeting customers, and uh, maintenance of equipment. Um, the park host job I'm at now, um, I'm required to maintain the lawn mowers, change the oil, um, check the oil, change the oil in the ATV, make sure all the maintenance is up to date on all the, all the equipment. Basically, you are there at the park to provide service for the patrons. So, anything that needs to be done, basically you do it. Um, I like to think of when I'm taking care of a park or I'm a park host, that that's my park. And I'm responsible for it and I need to make it the best park possible. So, like I said, each park is different and if you're interested in being a park host then by all means look into it and do it it's rewarding in itself just not talking about this <laughs> this is rewarding but dealing with customers and getting to know people and just being out in nature I mean I live out in the middle of nowhere most of the time <laughs> so before I leave a park I would want to make sure that I I want to make the park as best as it can be and if there's any way that I can make the park better I want to do that if anyone is interested or has any more questions about park hosting please email me at frugalrvgal at gmail.com and I will see if I can answer any of your questions. I've already posted a blog post on my website frugalrvgal.com. You can go there and read more about and get some more details about park hosting. It also provides a link to um, the national and federal uh, opportunities. Not all of them are park hosting. Some are, you know, running bookstores and uh, there's there's a lot of different opportunities out there not just park hosting and you may find something that uh, is actually a great fit for you and park hosting may not be it if you go to my website you can get more information and also if you are interested go to volunteer.gov and then if you're interested in a state park go to that state and look at their state parks website um, they will list opportunities there also. If you have worked as a park host or a camp host or something where you have volunteered your time to give back to the community, give back to the land, um, leave a comment below and tell me what you have done. I'd be interested to learn more about what other people have done and what their experience was. Was it a good experience? Was it a positive? Was it a negative experience? Would love to hear that. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a video about the pros and cons of a park host. So um, stay tuned for that. It is a beautiful day here in New Mexico. Just sitting, enjoying the, the sounds of nature.